uh, about $40, I guess it was, for each one of these. That came with everything that you needed to make it to make it work. So I hooked onto that hydrant up there because they're designed to flow downhill. They're not designed for pressure, all right? So, and that valve up there must have leaked it. Okay, I had it open, so we had a little pressure down here. This, this particular one uh, filled up on us. So let's go down where Alan's at, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Here, we're going to do every other furrow. When you're doing walking, so this is go, this flag girl is going to get water. That flag girl is going to get water. If you're doing any walking, first of all, I don't want you walking on the ridges or on these beds. Walk in the furrow, okay? And don't walk in the furrow that's getting water. Don't walk ahead of the water because why? Why don't you want to walk ahead of this water? You're going to compact the soil, change infiltration and so forth, and depressions and so forth. So this is meant to be your walkway. And we're going to do our test in here. We're going to install, you're going to install plumes at this end. And uh, these, again, the blue, blue uh, outlets are the gates to control your water. We're going to install the plume, the plumes up here. Alan will show you how to do that. And then at the other end, we'll put another plume in to um, measure the discharge. We'll measure the distance. We will set flags every 10 feet for your advanced measurement, okay? You can set the flag right in the ridge between, uh, like I said, right in this ridge here, right in the furrow, whatever you want to do. Okay. So I'm going to let Alan show you how to set the flume, and uh, let's see, what else do I want? This plug, oops, I just stepped in the furrow I told you not to. This plug is, is, has three parts to it, right? One of them is a plug. There's no hole in it. The other one's got a little bigger hole, and uh, there's a small hole, okay? So these are how we're controlling discharge. So today, I think we're going to use the small hole. Smallest hole that's on here. Now, uh, it's always hard to predict how fast water is going to move. So, while you guys are putting in plumes, I'm going to start running some water over here through the small hole just to see how well things are working. So, Alan, do you want to show them how to do this? Yeah, but you guys saw a flume, I assume, in the flow measurement lab. Um, we want to try to get the floor of the flume roughly at about the same grade as what your furrow is. So we, we want to loosen the, the soil just a, now we might with this wet condition maybe a little bit less. best you can because you're going to be your scale on these flumes there's a you should make sure you grab there might be flumes that don't have scales on them so it does so make sure it has a scale oh. and, uh, yeah. but unfortunately I have one so if you, this one will get you close and then you guys can uh, 
Manuel. Let's see, I think this, yeah, you can take this one's level now. Manuel, okay. We have. And then take your shovel and dig from the furrow that you're not going to be uh, getting as hot as. And just backfill around just a little bit. You want to bring the shovel? Okay. It's okay. Yeah. When after you backfill around the flume, check check the. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. What are you? Come on. What? Give, give him that spirit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, yeah. But there are so many there. Huh? This is all I put. Are you really a farmer? No. Ah. Maybe I'll try it. Oh, the, the camera on the back and the notebook. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. uh -huh. Continue. Continue, continue yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, uh, oh, it is not enough, yeah, just it. Uh-huh. That's a flum. Yeah. Yeah. 50% of trend. You need that? More. No, I still want to check it. There. Huh? I just the back, eh? When you have your flume installed, I have a flag for yeah. to measure the rate the water is traveling along the furrow. Every 10 feet, we're going to put a flag from the major from the inlet. There. And then you'll time when the water gets to the flag. What? No, no, we have still checking the level. Right. If it goes down there, you see? So this up, it means if you put it like this, it means this up or this down. And so we're, we don't want to take it this down because it's going to... That should be level. Five of these gates. 
on this line. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Gustavo, Gustavo, can we have three boards for this group here? Huh? Three boards. Okay, attention please. We shall start the flow one by one. So, one furrow will start. Then we have to wait a little bit. Next furrow will start and so on. So we go step by step. Not everybody at the same time, right? That's one thing. The other one, each group is only taking care of their own measurement, right? Not looking at the others, not dealing with that, only looking at your own furrow, yeah? You have to start the time when the middle of your flume is reached by the flow, yeah? We completely remove the plug. So we need a higher discharge. So we don't use the small hole, we don't use the middle hole, we use the biggest yeah. hole, which means that we keep out the complete plug, right? Once again, step by step. So one is open, then the next one, when we tell, now you can start, yeah? But the stopwatch starts when the flow goes through the middle of the flume, the first flume. And then you, your time is running. You don't stop your stopwatch as long as the measurement goes. Then the next thing is you have to check when the water is reaching the first flag, the second flag, the third flag, and so on. And you are all recording all those times. And whenever those times are recorded, you also check the discharge here. How? Making the measurements of those, yeah? The level here. Then you record also the discharge at the same time here. So it's advised that one person remains here, always making the reading of the flu. Yeah? After 10, 10 seconds. Maybe. Well, no, it, it becomes stable. Every time water reaches a flag. Yeah. Uh, but we, we can also have a, a constant, uh, well, a constant okay. uh, well, time gap in between. Mm -hmm. That's one we can also do, well, in every, uh, every one minute or so. But that has to be also recorded when the water is reaching the flags. Yeah? At the same time. Also, when it is reaching the other end. And the discharge has to be measured on the other end as well. 